Hey guys, how you doing? Julio here with Roadside Genius. Wanted to make a quick video showing you guys what not to do when your customer gets a bent rim. So I'm doing this just because the customer's already uh, said that she ordered rims and she pretty much said get rid of that. So that's a 20 ton bottle jack. I'm gonna try to get that bend out of there. Surprisingly enough, I don't know if any of you have ever done this, and you probably shouldn't unless your customer gives you authorization. This this one here was really bent. We actually went to install some tires on this customer's vehicle, but the vehicle had endured some good impacts from a big old, probably like a, a sidewalk curb or something. But this one was not holding air, bashed it in with the metal mallet. And I know I'm not supposed to, but don't worry, the customer knew and she was cool with it because she was already gonna buy four. So now I told her, hey, you only have to buy three. And I'm about to do that to see if she can only have to buy two. And I just wanted to make this video because this looks like fun. And uh, and it looks hella risky too. Look at that moving. Oh my lord. Look, it's, it's working though. See, the rim is actually moving up little by little. You can't really tell, but it is. And I just don't want to, I don't want that thing to fling out. Y'all see that shit? I just don't want it to fling out and hit me in the face. Cause that'll really hurt. Oh, rim cracked. Y'all saw it? She cracked. Woo. All right, so don't do this at home, guys. But uh wanted to show y'all what I was doing to uh, try to help a customer out. Uh, I was able to bend one of her tires back, so she's happy about that. But I'm pretty sure all I needed to do here was heat that up a little bit. But... I'm not really trying to break my back over it. But um just wanted to show y'all something stupid and I thought it was fun. So don't do that at home. But definitely do this on steel rims. Anytime you get one that's bent like that, you get you a mallet, a metal one preferably, if you're doing steel, and you give it a couple couple love taps. Obviously, don't do that on alloy wheels because if you do. Those mofos are crack. So I'm just gonna release this jack thing. There it goes. So you know it did it did pretty good. That still might I still might seal, so I might try to fuck with it still anyway, just cause I'm bored ain't nothing else to do out here. So let me try this. And again, I'll try that again. So I'm going to cut you guys off. See ya.